Minimally invasive surgery usually includes both laparoscopy and robotic surgery. Laparoscopy has been around since the early 90s, but when it comes to colorectal cancer, even now, only about 20 to 30 percent of cancers in the United States are being managed laparoscopically. It's a very difficult operation. It has a steep learning curve. The instruments that are used to operate laparoscopically are kind of like chopsticks. Um, the visualization has never been great. There are many limitations to laparoscopy. Twenty years ago, we started to see robotic instrumentation. And over the last 20 years, there's been a tremendous amount of advancements in robotic instrumentation. A robotic instrument really has a lot more degrees of freedom and can move almost like your hand. Another improvement is whereas in laparoscopy, you're looking at a monitor, you're looking at a two-dimensional image. In robotics, you're working at a console and you have a three-dimensional image, which is actually a high-def image. Another major improvement is there's tremor dampening. So when you work with laparoscopic instruments, you're working at the end of a long, thin instrument, so the end of the instrument has a certain amount of tremor to it. The robotic instrument has tremor dampening, so it actually has the opposite effect. Another improvement with robotics is the surgeon controls the camera. And so whereas during laparoscopy, you're working with two instruments, you have two hands, you're, two hands, you're working with two instruments, and somebody else is usually working the camera for you, when you're working robotically, you control the camera. You can put it exactly where you want and just have it sit there, and then move it to another place and just have it sit there, and there's not that camera issue. One last thing that comes to mind is that when you're working robotically, you have the ability to use three separate arms. So you say, well, how can you work three separate arms if I only have two hands? Well, you can move an arm and lock it in position and then change to working with another arm. So as a surgeon, you can control three instruments, not just two. What does all this mean? It means when we look at the number of colon and rectal operations that are being done, quote, minimally invasive, that number is growing each year now. Robotics has enabled a lot more surgeons to take care of a lot more patients with minimally invasive surgery because of all those technical advancements.